Yeah, you guys what's happening. So, I don't do a lot of tour views, but typically when they're pretty cool, I'll do a tour view. But, um, yeah, I got this for my wife for Christmas. Um, if she's having issues, just she can't really use my big heavy uh, Skill Mag 77. Just too heavy. I mean, it's even heavy for me, too. I mean, I'll put them on the scale and we'll, we'll weigh them, but... Um, yeah, take a look at this. Makita. It's the, the smallest circular saw that I could find. Um, so it should be good to cut, like, 2x4s and stuff. Up to, like, a 2x4. You know, like, two, 2 and a quarter, or a little bit over 2 inches uh, depth. But, uh, yeah, my actually, my wife likes the woodwork, so... Um, I wanted to get her something she could actually use. And even me, man, it's like, I, man, even, you know, as I get older, man, the Mag 77 is crazy heavy. Um, I, I mean, I work in IT. I don't do construction for a living. I mean, I work on my own stuff, but, you know, still, a Mag 77 is crazy. Um, all right, so I'm going to take this out of the box, and we'll take a look at it, see how big it is. Um, I have never, I've never seen one in person, because even at Home Depot, they didn't have it. I bought it from Home Depot. But uh, I, they didn't have one on, on uh, you know, out on display, so I couldn't see how big or small this thing was. So, all right, so basic uh, unboxing. I also, I guess supposedly, too, you can hook it to a track saw, maybe? So that'd be kind of cool. Let me get a box. All right, so that's pretty easy. I mean, it's already even has a blade on it, so. All right, take a look. Yeah, I mean, it's just a saw, you know? It's not like uh, anything special. I'm just, I'm just, I just—I want to give you a frame of reference of how small this thing is compared to like a regular saw. And we'll run it you know, with different batteries. All right, so I have three batteries. I have the nine amp hour, five amp hour. And I think this is like a two maybe or three. I'm not sure. It's the smallest one they actually make. It's the uh, BLE 1815. So what I do know is on my saws up that this thing won't even fit in the saw. They, they prevent you from even putting this small battery in there. So it won't even lock down. Like that, see right there? There's a key in there. So I wonder if it's the same thing for this one. Like, they're, they prevent you from using the small battery so you don't screw up the battery. Ah, no, it... it we'll take the small battery. I gotta charge it, but... um. Yeah, the 9 amp hour is crazy. I don't think Makita even makes the 9 amp hour. Um, it's this like an aftermarket, like little, you know, what's Vannon, whatever. I made a review about it a couple of years ago. It's been great. I've had it for years. But yeah, like for like when I'm doing some gnarly, like uh, like a lot of impacting or whatever. But, um, um, all right, so I'm going to grab my scale and my charge, charge these batteries and see how it runs. And then, um. I'll bring up my Mag 77, we'll do a weight difference. Alright, let's see, I put a battery in there. Never even run this thing, so we'll see what happens. It feels pretty good. I mean, it doesn't feel like it's going to have a lot of power. But this is not what it's for, you know. This is just for, you know, cutting trim and maybe some 2x4s. Maybe do like a rip cut on, on a piece of plywood. Um, but you don't need as much, if the blade is smaller, you don't need as much torque. Yeah, you know, because when you get to the outer, outer, outer side of that blade, it's spinning faster and creates more uh, resistance. So, a small blade is fine if you have a motor this small. Alright, let's see if I mean, I, I'm not gonna, I'm assuming it's not gonna make much of a difference with the 5 amp hour, but we'll see. It's hard to use one hand. A difference but I'm assuming well I mean duration and um, yeah I mean I'm assuming it's gonna have more torque with a bigger battery um, especially under load um, all right let me grab the mag 77 yeah sorry for the background noise I'm 3d printing some over there that's what that background noise is the fans it's like an ear piercing loud fan pitch noise all right so that's my mag 77 I bought that on offer up. I decided to go on offer up to buy an American made, uh, you know, circular saw. And this other one, this was my original first, one of the first tools I ever bought. Well, electric tools. I think I was like 15 years old, 16. 
uh, I was doing like handyman work for some guy. Um, yeah, really young. So I just, you know, that's what I did during the summers. I, I do handyman work for, uh, and you know, whatever construction stuff, and then IT work too. Um, but yeah, no, I, I, I it's funny, you know, having a lot of these tools. I, I, I don't get rid of them because it, it brings back memories when I was working as a kid. So I haven't used this thing for years and years and years and years. Um, but just for a frame reference and size. Yeah, the Mag 77, my wife has tiny wrists and there's no way she can pick this thing up. Like this is a serious worm drive construction saw. Um, yeah, if I have to ever do anything gnarly, like cut like four by four or something really thick, I'll bust this thing out, but I don't picture myself if I don't need to grab the Mag 77, I probably wouldn't be grabbing it anymore. Just because this is so much easier just to grab and no cord or nothing, you know. Yeah, it's interesting. Like I said, I've been around long enough. We're in, you know, my late 40s now. But, you know, we didn't really have cordless tools when I grew up, you know. We had some early uh, NICAD stuff, you know. But lithium-ion really changed the game when it came to battery technology. Um, even like the RC stuff I originally had, you know, it was all NICAD stuff. But NICAD batteries sucked, you know. So, all right, let me grab my, where's my, I have to find my scale. But uh, just a frame of reference of how heavy this thing is. All right, so next to my cat, my truck cat. Don't let the EPA see that it's not on my truck. Um, let's try this scale. So I don't know if this thing's even, it's a shipping scale. So this thing can even, if I'm able to get my Mag 77 on there. So this one's nine pound point two out or nine pounds two ounces. Get the mag seventy seven on there. Sixteen pounds two point six ounces. Yeah, that thing's even actually kind of well. I mean, it's, it's awkward, you know. It's just I don't know. Um, all right, four point four pounds, one point four ounces. I should probably put the battery on. Um, my wife's probably not gonna be using the nine. She'll probably be using the five. I'll wait with the five. She probably add a little bit over a pound with the battery. So six pounds, pretty much. So a ten pound difference between this thing and this thing. Um, all right. Yeah, it wasn't cheap though. I mean, it was like uh, over two hundred bucks. You know, with the uh, tax and everything. Um, but yeah, just being able to grab, not have to bust this thing out anymore. That uh, would be cool. So, just being able to pick it up and make a quick cut. You know, a long rip cut. You know, I guess I have my uh, my miter saw too, I guess, if I want to do. I don't know. But yeah, maybe like a long rip cut or something.